Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today we'll be having three episodes in this channel and they're gonna be all same type. What do I mean by same type? I'm gonna be comparing fragrances. Battle this versus that. Apple versus oranges, no. But similar fragrances, you know, uh, I'm gonna compare them in every category uh, and then I'll let you know which one you should look at, which is a better deal or uh, what's special about each one. Okay, I'll give you complete breakdown. Okay, so I have uh, one, episode in the first episode i'm gonna do downhill versus latafa okay and these fragrance houses are like two different entire different territory one is middle eastern house latafa other one is alfred downhill i think it's british house right so they have leather goods they have bags they have other accessories the designer house they have other products and latafa basically makes perfumes and perhaps some other products in middle east so let me show you the fragrances they're going to be going against each other very similar uh, one is called uh, downhill uh, this is Icon's uh, flanker, okay? This is Daniel's Icon Absolute versus Latafa Kaed. And you can see beautiful orange juice. I reviewed it, I think, last year or so, right? And I did say Latafa could be a good replacement for the Daniel. So we'll revisit. I didn't do a com like side by side comparison video, so we'll go, okay? So I'm gonna take my sweet time. Uh, and if you feel a little bit bored, you can fast forward and can go to the comparison part. But I wanna show you presentation, talk about prices, you know, each category. So first of all, uh, I did not have Daniel Icon Absolute uh, before I reviewed it from the official sample which I purchased like few months back, okay, from one page here. And I also purchased side by side Daniel Icon Elite, okay. They also have some new ones, um, the blue one and the red one. And then I have also the racing. So I have, they have quite a few in this line. But the originator from this line is Daniel's Icon, a masterpiece, genuine masterpiece from this line. And from the overall like designer house, I consider this as a masterpiece so daniel's icon you guys know it's a beautiful heavy bottle amazing amazing heavy bottle with a beautiful juice in there um just lovely just lovely fragrance okay but the absolute the golden one has nothing to do with the previous one silver one just the bottle design is same so let me show you side by side i have the box somewhere but it's okay just let me show the bottle sorry uh this is how the bottle looks it's golden it's very shiny uh they got the same exact bottle juice color inside is like this kind of like orangish it says downhill up top when you open it you see there it looks like a very very premium you know these caps are very premium very heavy uh, feels robust when you put them like this like this you'll see it's very posh this fragrance uh, has multiple bottle sizes i think uh, 50 ml 100 and i think perhaps there's a smaller one or bigger one uh, prices on these if you go retail they're gonna go at around 70 dollars 75 bucks but if you go discounters you can score these like $40, 45 bucks uh, at very good uh, discounted sites, but on most part, around $50 in Bangladesh, okay? So that's the bottle. Sprayer, was, sprayer is really, really good. Let me show you the sprayer. I have it pre-sprayed on the paper. And uh, let me just do one more spritz, show you the sprayer. Let's just go two sprays, okay? The atomizer inside is gonna be black if you're scared for fakes. Clicks, I love this click, okay? It clicks really nicely, okay? This bottle is just stunning. So leave that to dry down and then lot of a kayak. check out my review full review on this one i showed the box it comes in a very nice box okay but the bottle looks kind of similar to that okay and i did compare them side by side because i felt oh the bottle is similar oh then i tried them then i said yes this is a good replacement for this for a budget so the kayak one it's not as heavy it's kind of like a, a wider bottle if you see and it's not as uh, tall okay but both are 100 ml but this one is kind of like ombre leather kind of bottle size okay it says the name it got this pattern as well like the downhill it says kaya this one is not bad presentation just the overall feel is a bit light okay juice color is more stunning bright orange okay and i'm all wearing our national team jersey like official 50 years uh, of bangladesh we have a special jersey for cricket team this is like a merchandise officially just wearing it for pride okay uh, i just uh, whenever our team plays i support them even now we are going through some bad terms, you know, it's okay, but I love my country. So that's that bottle. The sprayer works fine in this. I have it pre-sprayed on the paper. Mm. Let's show you the sprayer. Okay, I sprayed on my phone as well, I guess. <laughs> so it, it did catch. So thing is, this fragrance, it, it's much cheaper. It's half the price of Daniel's Icon Absolute. This one, I think the Latafa, you can find it around $25. So half of the 50, 50, $55 mark, right? Uh, so let's talk about them why did i choose to compare them because they smell kind of similar but they have a lot of differences okay 
So let me hold them. Let me smell them first of all. This is Dunhill. This is a lot of uh, one final sniff. Hmm. Okay. Dunhill. Latafa. Okay, now let me share my thoughts because I know this fragrance is not like I'm first sniffing them first time. I know them for a long time. Uh, let me hold the bottles. So it will be easier for you to understand. <clears throat> Price point wise, Latafa wins. Okay, this one is way cheaper. So you can score this at a better price. Uh, and I think the fragrance, I mean like this overall house is much more a budget house. Okay, uh, Daniel, I think the price is a little bit high. Uh, it's average designer pricing. Okay. So price wise, lot of wins. Bottle size, same. So it's an, um, you know, like, is it 100 or 90? I always forget these things. <laughs> Sorry, wait. This is uh, 100 ml. Okay, it says here 100 ml. Okay. Uh, so the thing is, there's a tie for juice level. Both uh, juice level is same. Uh, amount you get is same juice, 100 ml. Bottle presentation wise, it's hands down is downhill. You can see it's like it got this beautiful snake body sort of. It looks like a mic. It looks like a lot of things. It's very heavy compared to this. This feels way premium and the cap and everything is just, there's just no uh, comparison. Daniel wins. Sprayer, both are great sprayers, but Daniel feels a little bit better. Of course, better house, but that's not a major issue. It's not a deal breaker for a lot of us. So it's, it's okay. Uh, seasons to wear them. I feel uh, if you talk about the smell wise, they feel like they're built for same uh, season. That is winter, colder months. But here's the catch. Uh, the Daniel one is a little bit more, um, I would say uh, versatile. The reason being, this is not as potent as this one. That's what I discussed in the review of Latafa. Uh, this one, it's kind of like a skin scent, kind of like close encounters. It has uh, longevity is decent, three to four hours, but projection, it's almost like zero. So the thing is you can wear this like 10, 20, how many sprays I think you can go with this 10, 20 sprays, you know, nobody's going to be offended. It's just great for that versatility. So I think this is more versatile in terms of versatility, Daniel wins, but longevity and projection, Latafa. This is where this one takes the cake. Uh, this fragrance projects and lasts way more time than this. This one you can get easily eight hours around that mark, eight to 10 hours, even more if you spray on clothes. But if you can see their juice colors, be mindful of one thing. Do not spray these on white clothing. Okay. What it's going to do is it'll leave a nasty mark. Okay. Especially the Kaid one, it's very, very bright. So you'll have like a nice little spot, orange spot in your <laughs> white juba or shirt. So long given projection, you can see this is strictly a winter. This is more of a all year round scent. I would say day and time, night time, it doesn't matter. You can spray just like Daniel Orion icon. You can wait, but springtime, this is the best. Okay. Spring and fall. Uh, longevity projection, I already talked about it. Okay, so major uh, criteria, the smell, where uh, I will discuss both of them. Uh, first of all, the Dunhill one. When I smell this, first of all, I know one thing in terms of the scent quality, like fragrance quality, this is a way better fragrance. You can tell when you smell it, you can tell it's just so much better built in terms of uh, the ingredients used or the smoothness of it or the quality you can tell it doesn't smell like cheap like it's cheap perfume this one gets compared to tom ford wood wood okay wood wood okay or wood 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 okay I, I always get confused saying that but you know tom ford wood wood is a very expensive fragrance does not last as much even like it, they are like kind of similar ballpark you know both of them last the same but this is fraction of a price uh is it exact replica clone no it has vibes of wood 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 is a lot more Again, better fragrance from Tom Ford, but if you talk about price point, this actually can replace that uh, Tom Ford. That's why I think the smell got this nice little citrusy, there's a like, little bit citrusy opening, and then you get the spices and woodiness. You know, it's like a woody, spicy, very uh, playful kind of, uh, that citrus makes it so much more playful. So if, even if you do not like spicy fragrance, you really like it. It's very masculine, okay? It's in the same uh, genre as Bulgari Man in Black, perhaps, okay? So really nice fragrance, okay? And I'll show you, if you like Tom Ford Oud Wood, just for reference, you can try Versace Oud Noir. These designers, are, these are some of the best designer Oud. John Vervetto's Oud, uh, or this one is my favorite, Boss Bottle Oud. These are a little bit more pricey compared to the other ones, but they're all fantastic. So for me, this is a better built fragrance in terms of quality, this is better, despite the uh, performances, not as good as Latafa. So the Latafa one, the difference between this and this is this is a lot more uh, spicy, a lot more out there. It's very aggressive, like Rasasi, Shura, Dare. Those are like beastly. This is beastly. Performance category, they're like not even close. Okay. Uh, so paying a little bit, 
like a fraction of a money of this and you get better performer so many people will choose this over Daniel any day I said it the same but uh, this is a practical pickup okay if you want to buy a full bottle it will serve you longer uh, because you need less sprays but the difference is saffron there's a lot more saffron in this compared to this This one I don't think is in saffron this is just a smooth polished like a spicy woody like think of uh, Creed's Royal Wood kind of same feel but this one it's kind of Middle Eastern take on this one so you can see the similarity like 75% 80% similar but the saffron takes it that extra mile so overall I mean Latafa is a better deal no uh, doubt okay you get a little bit lighter bottle but 25 bucks I mean this presentation with a nice little box you know you shouldn't complain and you need one to two sprays beautiful uh, so this one's strictly winter this one is a little bit more versatile so overall now comparison finish which one I got complimented from none none of them gave me compliments uh, I did not wear this as much because I had the sample only <clears throat> sample usually doesn't project as much as well but I wore this I showed it to people people said this smells nice but I would like not like to wear it because it's very loud for our condition but compliment factor is not very high if close encounters this one might pick up compliments because it's very sexy on the neck so overall which is a champion here okay for the value overall value price longevity these things if your preference is that you are a person who's uh, more rational Latafa okay hands down I'm not gonna say this is a fragrance I'll put down but overall fragrance quality if you talk about smell the complexity or the high class of it you know like if you really are looking to get something like oud wood like tom ford or uh, something that tom ford makes those spicy fragrances this is a very close uh, like it's like knocking on the door of tom ford you know like try me okay so overall like this bottle a lot i love the smell overall fragrance wise i prefer this but the value wise lot of wins okay so you choose what you have to thank you very much for watching time to move on to the second comparison video take care bye bye